guy have been real unskeptical, or at least not unskeptical, but kind of just, and now I need to just be more fast and loose with just paying this because it's kind of just hitting a point where if I just don't do something, I'm never going to do it. So this is a massive case of, I'm just doing things now. I just don't want to hang myself up over little things like you know, how it's actually supposed to look, lighting issues, drawing issues, because a lot of the stuff that has been holding me back is mostly just things having to do with perfection stuff. Basically, I just don't want to work on art because of that perfectionism, or at least large illustrations. That's probably the main reason why I've just been so slow and not posting anything at all. Is because I just give up on things where it's like, oh, there's something more important to work on. Or, you know, I, ha I don't have enough time and I keep making excuses to not make time. And, you know, yada yada, the typical artist fair. Like, nobody's... Nobody really knows what I'm doing except for me. And <laughs> I'm just constantly just making excuses for myself. Overall, this is just me trying to just, I guess, do morning meditations. Like trying to get myself to <clears throat> just do something. Because usually my weekends, I don't normally draw as often as I want to on weekends. Because I'll be, I'll either end up doing laundry, or I'll end up cleaning the house, or I'll wake up early in the morning and just not want to do anything. Like I'm recovering from just my day job and just the other weekends where I'm like drawing things that aren't for me. I think that's also half the reason why I don't do more pixel art regularly is because pixel art just now has become work in my brain. And that's not good at all. Like, if it be just becomes work, it means that I'm not having much fun doing the artwork, and that could be a problem. So, I'm doing this illustration. Because I need, I guess, a small victory. Like, I need to feel like, okay, what I did today was remotely good. Or at least objectively good. And, yeah, overall, I just want to have some thorns painted. And I'm trying my best to not go into an existential frustration mode where I'm like this lighting looks awful it looks like this illustration is not one million percent perfect so that is one of those things I need to get over at the moment and and I think another thing is like I feel like when I'm in the middle of an illustration I feel like I already fucked it up like even from the jump like I feel like even through this, all this learning and all the, uh, all the, all my like working on it and stuff like that, I feel like after I, after I finished a sketch, I feel like I already screwed it up by coloring it. Yeah, a lot of this is, I'm trying to just get away from being psychotically perfect. So, yeah, with this, I've kind of just been like, you know what? If I'm in the wrong layer, I need to just paint over it. It's, you know, I need to just get it done already. Like, I'm not gonna just go layer hunting. I think, I think drawing on the iPads kind of just got me more into just drawing for the sake of drawing, because it's kind of a pain in the butt to change layers on the iPad, so. I'm now kind of just falling out of the habit of switching layers as often. 
though it's not 100%, like, when I, uh, when I paint, like, in general, or, like, when I'm doing, like, more, like, guess, comic-y art, I'm still in that mindset of I need to ink the lines, I need to flatten the care I need to flatten the colors so they can be colloided on the printer and stuff like that. And you know, I'm still just in that brain set sometimes. And I think it's mainly because it's a lot of my older art is like that. And this actually just fucking sucks, actually. I'm trying I'm trying not to get too completely pissed off. Cause that's that's just basically the mindset where you gotta do is even though a piece is ticking you off right now, you need to teach yourself how to fight through that frustration because it'll happen frequently. You're gonna be frustrated about art pieces all the time. You're gonna feel like what you're currently making is not good enough compared to everyone else in the world. You'll look on uh, Instagram and you'll just see everyone's fan art being the absolute immaculate pinnacle of all possible art. And then you're kind of like looking at your own art. You have freaking cartoon animals doing freaking nothing. No story, no comic strips, not even interactions. It kind of feel like you're completely out of your element. Your your art is worthless because you just don't do anything that anyone gives a crap about. And it's very, very easy to fall in that despair while you're doing that. Or at least, well, not while you're doing that, but more just when you're making things and you know, you're struggling to figure out what to do with yourself. And it's very easy to kind of just fall into that negative, nihilistic, this doesn't matter, this will never matter sort of mindset. And it's very, very easy to kind of just evolve and just crumple up in your corner and kind of just hide from the universe and think, no one would miss me when you're gone. It's very easy to feel that way. Trust me, I, well, look at my, like, silly rant right now. I'm, like, going on a dumb rant about just how much I hate working on some art pieces sometimes. And pile that on with the possibility of, uh, you know, pile that on with the fact that I have other pieces that I keep starting and never finishing like I think the worst habit that I have as an artist is that I start so much stuff that I never finish and that's probably the worst thing I can be as an artist and it's half the reason I feel like I'm an inferior artist like I could you know a lot of people are tell, gotta tell me oh I'm wrong I'm the best artist in the world it, that kind of I don't feel that way because I can see the flaws in myself. Every artist can see the flaws in themselves because they're striving to get good. Like most artists worth their salt are striving to get good. It's it's like uh it's like fighting games. Like obviously, you know, it's a video game and stuff, but you know, you're trying to get really good. If you wanna win Evo, you gotta like you know, do all the training, do all the lab stuff, um, learn the combos, learn the, uh, crap. I'm running out of dumb fighting game metaphors. <laughs> like, you gotta put in that time and work, because learning, yeah, I guess learning the inputs is part one to it. Like, you know, that's the game manual. Like, you can look up the game manual, or you can look at the side of the arcade, or you can look at the, uh, there's like this, uh, thing on the arcade thing where it just tells you, like, how to do the button inputs, and they'll have, like, each character having the special moves, like, just written on the side of the arcade. You can look at that. Like, that's part one. The actual mind games, and, uh, learning optimal combos, and 
learning how to read opponents and stuff like that that's that's a whole other task to learn and it's not easy to learn all right 